In this video, we'll demo how to configure a Ribbon SBC on the Microsoft Azure Cloud, connecting MS Teams to the rest of the world. So stick around. The Ribbon SBC Software Edition Lite, or SWE Lite, runs on Microsoft Azure and securely connects your Microsoft Teams voice traffic with the public telephone network. This Microsoft certified session border controller provides full media services, and it prevents SIP-based attacks. The SBC uses very few compute resources. In fact, many businesses can be supported with a single virtual machine instance on Azure. Now, let's take a look at the straightforward quick launch setup. All right, to get started, you need to go to Microsoft Azure Marketplace and log in and then search for Ribbon. In the results here, you'll click on Ribbon SBC SWE Lite Quick Launch. The first thing you'll need to do is create a virtual machine in Azure on which the SBC runs. So you'll need to click Create. You'll see your subscription details. You can choose to add the VM to an existing resource group using the drop-down menu, or as in this example, we'll create a new resource group. Here I'll edit the VM name to make it unique. Then you can choose the number of simultaneous calls that your SBC will need to support. SBC Suite Lite can support a large or small number of calls. For this demo, we'll choose a small number. This choice will drive the VM compute requirements. Note that it is using the standard B1MS size since we picked a small number of sessions. Also, the VM requirements are pre-populated, as is the diagnostic storage account. Clicking next, you go to network settings and the screen is pre-populated with your default settings for your virtual network and subnets for your management interface and signaling and media. You could also add those here too. Clicking on next, it takes you to our SPC SWE Lite settings to set up your login credentials for the management interface of the SWE Lite. You'll also add your FQDN here for Teams Direct Routing and your domain name. You can add that now or after your VM has been created. When you click next, you get to review and then create. And this will validate all your settings that you've set up and your virtual machine will be created. After five to 10 minutes, you'll receive a notification that your virtual machine deployment has succeeded. Click on deployment succeeded and then click outputs and you'll see your SWE Lite management FQDN and the public IP address for Teams direct routing. When you click overview, you'll see the top level details for your VM. Input shows all the parameters you used when creating the VM, including the VM name, its size, location, storage, internal IP address, and the subnets for the management interface and for media and signaling. At the bottom of the page, you'll see the host name and domain name. You'll need some of this information to configure the SWE Lite. If you enter the FQDN from your outputs into a browser, you can start to configure your SWE Lite. First time you go there, you'll get a privacy error because security certificates are not in place. Uploading those certificates will be the first configuration step. Log in with the username and password that you chose during the VM setup. You'll be required to change your password the first time you log in. So create a new password and then log back in. All right, now click on task and navigate to SBC Easy Setup and then Certificates. Click on the icon to import your certificates or you could paste the certificates into the dialog box. Once your certificates are uploaded, click on Easy Config Wizard to get started configuring the SWE Lite. From the application dropdown, choose the deployment scenario. For this demo, we'll use SIP trunk to Microsoft Teams. Fill in the scenario description and choose country and emergency services. Then add the number of SIP sessions that you need. Now on to step two. Add the FQDN or IP address of your border element server and other SIP trunk properties. Finish step two by adding the public IP address of your SWE Lite. In step three, review your configuration, click Finish, and then OK. In just a few seconds, your SWE Lite is configured for Teams Direct Routing. That's it. We just configured the Ribbon SBC Software Edition Lite. From the soft phone, we'll dial out to the phone number associated with our Teams client, and the call has gone through. Finally, we'll test the call in the other direction, from the Teams client to the soft phone. We'll call back to the soft phone, and a few seconds later here, the soft phone rings. 
That's it. We just configured the Ribbon SBC Software Edition Lite in minutes to allow calls over SIP trunks to the telephone network and secure your voice traffic.